This is the Age of Rage on Elite. Arrived at the Dockside Cartwright's workshop. Yep. And at this uh, in this quest, we have to look for an item that's sort of buried. There it is, unnatural looking rock. You can't hit Q and E with this one. And then you interact with it, take the key, and then you can open this door. You found a way inside the building that's said to house the headquarters of the Disciples of Rage. Time to see if we can fall. Well yep. Once you break these boxes, you can pull this lever, and the enemies become the lever is active and the enemies, is as opposed to just NPCs. You are under attack. I usually go back and get these guys so they don't come and get me from behind, anyways. But this guy, you can just leave. He's like stuck. He doesn't get. You can't get through the cage. You can get rid of him uh, if you want to, but. He's just kind of stuck there. The hidden doorway is some kind of fortified area. It looks like you're in the middle. You can see that temporary hit points rocking a lot every time an enemy hits me. Well, I think first technically I have to hit the enemy, and then if the enemy hits me at that point. I get the temporary hit points. It's not a huge amount, but every little bit helps. Sonic Blast. So I could have used my Harper pin there, but it was pretty short. I want to save my Harper pin for times when it's like it's a matter of life or death. Because I only get it every 10 minutes. So I think I, there's a trap box here, and I must have assumed that when I got that trap box that it was just, uh, it was all these bear traps that was making me spot something. Just wanted to test and see if that trap was there still. I could do fine in it, but my hairline can't, so I'm gonna. There we go. So, the spot's working fine. It's just that, uh, you know, the trap itself kind of gets buried amongst all those other pressure plate traps. All right. Pressure builds behind your eyes as a massive headache sets in. You feel restless and agitated. <laughs> through your head and your vision tinges red a burning rage overtakes you a rage that can only be quenched with destruction
kind of a strange mechanic in this quest. We now have to just go through and break a bunch of breakables. 49 more, I guess, looks like. And then once that's done, we can uh, get to the back room and, and get the crests. What do we need? Or the crest? Might as well grab that and break it down for essences. There's a shrine back here uh, and an optional chest. I guess I'll get the optional chest. There's really no harm. I can just jump over these traps. And uh, assuming my lock pick is good enough for it. So just by breaking down essences, my crafting level is already up to the cultist strange 82. So I'm real happy with that. Inert, as they seem. And I forgot to pick up the uh, most important thing in that room, the crust. I always want to get out of the range of that explosion. There it is. See, I'm sensing a trap, but I think it's actually from this room, and it may not be one I could disarm. Yep. All right, so this is just basically, the trap is basically the uh, these red things, so you just have to make sure you don't have anything going to the red things. And I think I did on the, I accidentally did it on the hard run or normal run or, or one of those two. But it's pretty easy. Just uh, turn these so they're away from here, away from this middle path. Strange volume floats over the altar. This must be the book the cultist legend. And so this is a pretty tough, uh, pretty tough fight. Flame. Yet but I'm over the level here, you know, done. because of this. The how long it takes to do this row of cleanups, favor cleanup, uh, so it shouldn't be a problem. This is one that I probably, especially in a first lifer, uh, would avoid on Reaper mode. Because of the beholder, this beholder fight, and you can see this uh, piercing gaze 
two procs of it. I'm gonna get these eyes here first thing. You can see I've, I've taken a lot of damage, you know, even though I'm over the level and pretty powerful for the level. And this is only elite, not reaper. And so what you could do on the piercing gaze, one or two procs is fine, but if you get too many, you want to kind of get behind them. And uh, actually, furthermore, you want to like, not just get behind them, but you want to sort of be procking. You want to sort of be like moving around, spinning, so that he basically can't hit you with it. So I've got three stacks. So I'm gonna get out of the way of this exploder. Look at these eyes and then get out of the way. And I've got five stacks. Now you know, I'm, I'm about to kill him, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But moving around is the best way to get rid of those procs. Sort of circle around them while you're attacking, and those procs will uh, wear off. Still gripped by the ancient curse that destroyed the giants. The cult is gone, but the rage. I'm gonna pause it while I get the end reward. All right, nothing too interesting. I'm just going to grab something to break down for essences, and that is the Age of Rage on Elite. <laughs>